software as a service. Uh, I mean, software as a solution is software as a service, right? But there's a few things that software as a service can utilize in the NFT world. And I assume <laughs> you would consider yourself a nerd if you are working in this industry and are probably very well versed in NFTs and blockchain and smart contracts and cryptocurrencies. So if this is something you're seeking inspiration on, if you're looking for ideas, potentially ways that you can differentiate your SaaS product from others, please listen up. Also feel free to watch some of the other videos in this series. I'm riffing on ideas here. So it's not for me to tell you how to do it or to give you the details behind some of the jargon and definitions that I'm using. However, I've definitely made some videos for that. So this is mainly just a creative brainstorming session on different ways that software as a service can utilize NFTs in their business model. And first and foremost, a lot of people are, all, are already doing this. So I am pulling from existing ideas, but as I said, we're riffing here. So things are going to come up. It's going to get exciting and it's potentially a little bit different than software as a solution, which is another video that I did. So many people are working in these industries and so many people are going to be working in these industries, which is why I felt it was important to call them out just a little bit differently. First and foremost, because software as a service is really relying upon cloud technology, decentralized technology. This is something that NFTs do in innately. The blockchain, theoretically, some blockchains are going to be more decentralized than others. Again, if some of these words and jargon are over your head, there's a video for that. So that said, let's firstly talk about just simply authenticity. So software as a solution is typically a cloud-based software application. So you are selling uh, access, right? An NFT does that beautifully. It gives people access, it gives people authenticity, it gives people a promise, and it does it based on an, an agreement, something that is within the smart contract. It's programmable, it's executable, and it is typically automatic based on the terms of the smart contract. So SaaS is already doing this beautifully. NFTs can just simply make it a different way of thinking about and engaging with your buyer and with your, with your market. What the authenticity component of it does is there are a lot of ways that we can be scammed online. And so when something is verified on the blockchain, it is true, it is proven, it is transparent, it is available for everybody to see. And as we move into a trustless and permissionless uh, economy, and what that means is that you as the consumer, you as the buyer, your customers, your clients, aren't going to have to do their homework to figure out, is this true on the blockchain? Has this been verified? Is this software actually what it, say it says it is? Is this service what it says it is? So that can all be displayed in a digital wallet, and it's going to be very obvious for anybody to look at. Why does any of this matter? We're going to be <laughs> operating with seamless technology. Technology and software is going to start integrating into our lives more than it ever has before. So the faster and the safer it is, that's really how you're going to differentiate your product. Now, another thing I think is really exciting are the affiliate opportunities within smart contracts and NFTs. So it will make it so much easier for a consumer, someone who might be creating um, marketing or other businesses, other partnerships who are also marketing your software as a solution and software as a service business to just simply get the distributions of funds for their affiliate. Right now, you're having to go to a third party, typically create an account, track that account, organize disbursements with SAAS and NFTs. <laughs> That's a lot of letters. You will be able to, to make that automatic and to make it completely transparent. So no longer are your affiliates having to create separate accounts, typically on third parties, or is your billing department or accounting department having to track that? As you know, my friend, there is an app for that. And now this can all become in-house. Software as a solution and NFTs can just simply sell your product, right? So that you're already like you of think of all of the series of these videos that I've created potentially outside of the IT series. <laughs> Uh, you get this, you understand this, you're probably doing this. It's just not as an NFT. And so really starting to test your market, prime your market, you could give away a whole series of NFTs just to understand who are your 
most forward thinking, most progressive customers, clients, buyers, however you think of it. But what I like about this is what you can start to do is actually bake in real rewards and value adds for anyone willing to hold one of your NFTs. So right now, if you are a software as a service, you're probably having to update. You're probably having to train. You're probably upselling clients already. And sales is a huge component of what you're doing. NFTs can make this so much more seamless. You can airdrop updates. You can airdrop announcements. If you've got access to somebody's wallet, you can send them directly everything that they need to know. No longer are you competing for their attention. You're not competing for their time. You're just simply making what you do available to them effortlessly and immediately. Something that a lot of SaaS companies that are using NFTs already are doing now is offering a suite of partnerships. So where your service may have fit in and amongst a, around a handful of services and beyond just affiliate marketing, but actual partnerships, NFTs and smart contracts can make that possible again immediately and transparently. And so you can understand who's getting disbursements from what. The smart contract is programmable, so you can suggest that if your company is working alongside another company, maybe it's a 50-50 split. Maybe you're able to offer really deep discounts. I've seen a lot of NFT creators partner with some of the software as solutions that, and services that they are using. So artists who are using Adobe, artists who are using some of the um, different digital paint and digital drawing software solutions, they, um, um, they're able to now partner. So if you're a holder of their NFT, you can get access to a particular discount, or you might even be able to get access to a particular software for a certain amount of time. You know, it's so much easier to convert somebody who is already using and adopted your software. And so by partnering with different creators, different users, different organizations, people that are laterally related to your business, not in competition or vertically related to your business. And so a user who is applying this software is going to have to use your software which might need another software solution. Partnering with those organizations is going to expose you to much, much, much wider audiences. And so especially if you're in the startup phase, which so many SaaS companies begin with, is just trying to gain a larger usage from consumers. NFTs could be a really, really unique way of increasing your footprint and of rapidly expanding your usership so that you're able to then get to that next stage of scaling your business.